Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with our lovely Dr. Liz Lister. Thank you for joining us again, Dr. Liz. You're welcome. A pleasure to be here. Good to see you. Uh, Dr. Liz, I have a, a question about, I drink a lot of water and um, uh, probably about 64 ounces a day. I have this 32 ounce uh, mug that uh, I go through twice a day. Plus I drink other drinks, uh, no soda anymore, but uh, uh, coffee and things like that. Maybe uh, tea from time to time. Uh, I was wondering, uh, is too much water or I might drink the right amount of water. I just do it because it's sort of like habitual. Uh, and I wonder whether or not there's any uh, information that you could share uh, with me and our audience about uh, drinking water. Sure, absolutely. Well, it's a good healthy habit, so good for you. Congratulations oh. on that healthy habit. Good. There are actual recommendations that we can talk about. It's really very interesting. The going understanding alternates the most common understandings that are out there of how much water should we drink. One that you may have heard is eight glasses a day, which is what you're having. That's about 64 ounces. That's a really common one. Have you heard that before? Eight mm -hmm. glasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I've heard that, but it it sounds excessive to me. I, you know, Art's used to doing it, but I, I'm not sure I could take eight glasses a day. Well, I tell you what, it probably actually is a really good goal. And I'm a little bit with you. It's really hard to make it. I have my, my water bottle. This is two glasses of water. So I do try to get through four of these a day. And it's a really good day when I do get through all of them. It, what it turns out, though, is that the California, the, excuse me, the National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine actually does have recommendations. And it turns out that it's more like 15 cups a day for men oh. and oh. more like 11 cups for women. But you can get that from different fluids, not only water. And about 20% of it usually does come from the wait, food. Wait a, minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our audience, okay, <laughs> are over 50. And half of our audience are men. And a man over 50, many, many of us, okay, more frequently uh, exchange that water for a visit to the bathroom multiple times a day. <laughs> uh, 64 ounces I'm pretty good with. How many did you say? <laughs> how, many, okay. how many ounces? How many I glasses? said almost twice that much. Almost twice that wow. much. And, and let me also, but again, don't forget, it's other fluids count, like if a cup of tea. The question of coffee, usually people consider coffee to not count as far as fluid intake, mm. but in the the National Academy of Science, they are including any kind of fluid intake and they are including the water content of food, which is significant. Oh. Okay, so so I, I really think that you're okay. We're also talking about temperate climate, not a very hot climate. Uh, you're On a day when you're not doing a really intensive type of exercise workout, uh, we're talking about that as well. Hmm. Well, so, John, so uh, how far behind the curve are you? <laughs> well, I do drink water, um, and I <laughs> probably have about six classes a day, I think. Get, you know, from waking That's to good. sleep time. Yes. Uh, but I do yeah, it mostly good. to quench my thirst. Besides the liquid going through your, your body and, I assume, flushing out uh, toxins and everything else and moving out, yes. are there other, benef are there other, other, other benefits uh, to water? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly right. And thank you for reminding me to share with our audience that when people are working on weight loss, I definitely encourage more hydration. Now, having said that, it is possible to overdo it. That is possible. It's possible to drink in, to take in too much fluids uh, that can actually dilute the levels of electrolytes in our bloodstream. And we do not want that. So, for example, we have to have enough sodium not more than two grams of sodium in a day, but we need sodium, we need chloride, right? Those together are salt. Uh, we need potassium. And so that's what we do need. We don't need Gatorade. 
<laughs> Nobody needs Gatorade unless you're uh, on the football team of the Florida Gators or another professional football team. These uh, That drink was invented by them for their own hydration purposes. These are guys that are 250 to three over 300 pounds. They're out in the hot sun, so not a temperate climate, and they're exercising for hours and hours every single day, and they did they they need different uh, hydration and replenishment of electrolytes than the rest of us. So maybe a tablet, uh, for example, there are just little tablets that people can add to water mm. that don't have added sugars. Uh, and they're not going to add too much, by the way, of sugar or salt. So those are okay. If you were having too much water, would there be any general symptoms uh, that you might ask your doctor about? Saying, you know, uh, you're lightheaded or you're, you're, you can't sleep. Exactly. Or what, are, what are the kind of things that uh, yeah. uh, you might notice if you're having too much or too little? Yeah, you won't miss it. First of all, it's not easy to get there. You mm. really are drinking a ton of water. And so, and you really don't feel well at all. You feel dropping in blood pressure because there's not enough of a salt content in the blood and you feel, you may feel dizzy or faint. So it's, it's not subtle. All right. And so that's, that's important. You also reminded me of the other going understanding that we were talking about at the beginning. And that is for people to drink half of what the person weighs in pounds, whatever that number is half of that in ounces of water per day. And honestly, I think that would be too much for a lot of people. That that sounds like it. Let's say you weigh 200 pounds. Half of your weight is 100, 100 pounds. Right. You make that 100, 100 ounces? ounces? Yes, that's exactly right. That's the calculation. So it's not a bad goal, but wow. it's a little much. I really, you know, when, when it's above eight glasses of water per day, I encourage people to try to go for that goal. Try to do what we call mm -hmm. fluid management so that after you have like a cutoff time of day. So I usually say somewhere around 6 p.m. Try not to be having entire glassfuls of water after that point in order to sure. minimize those trips to the bathroom during the night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it, so we should be more like Gunga Din and get as much water as we can, but not overdo it, and we probably can't. So we're probably safe. Yeah, yes. To a comment that John made a little while ago about feeling thirsty and quenching thirst, our sense of thirst is not that great. I've read articles that disagree with this, but I think that this is true. I think that by the time people are generally feeling thirsty, we're a little bit behind the eight ball. So it's oh. good to stay in front of that. It is good to stay in front of that. And another easy way to tell is uh, the color of our urine. It shouldn't be too dark. If it's too dark, that means it's really concentrated, which means our bodies are trying very hard to hold on to hydration. And we need to help our bodies out by drinking enough water. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to look at my, my urine more often. It's just it's always fun. Yeah. You know. And you know what? We're yes. partners, but you don't have to share that. We share a lot of things, okay? <laughs> but maybe you could, maybe you could, maybe you could do a video on your cell phone and send me. No, thanks. Uh, you okay. get arrested for that kind of thing, Art. Oh, I, I see. Uh, Doctor Liz, it, it. I guess for people over fifty, for those of the uh, baby boomer generation, uh, seniors in general. The most common problem with hydration really is in the hot sun, summertime, when you get dehydrated. Right, uh, because, exactly. Because, as you said, thirst isn't always a, a great indicator of how much hydration you need. Exactly. Um, is that pretty much, from what you've heard, is that pretty much the most common problem for Absolutely. older people? Absolutely. That is the most common challenge. Uh, partly, again, because of getting up to have to go to the bathroom. So, but it's very, very important. It helps every single cell function in the body, helps the blood flow, which goes to everywhere from the brain to the skin to all of our vital organs. Very, very important to stay hydrated. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I, I'm going to maintain my, my water levels, John. You know, you're important to me. Uh, another cup or two of water a day would be appreciated. 
I need you around because you actually do half the work. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm going to have to drink more water to be real honest. That's the case. So okay. uh, this has been great. Uh, good information, including the color of my urine, which is a discussion I always love to have. <laughs> good party Dr. topic. Well, you are a doctor. I mean, we can talk yeah. about these things, right? Exactly. Because yeah, it's just the three of us. <laughs> Nobody else is listening. Right. Thanks, Dr. Liz. Thank you so much. It's great You're information, welcome. as always. My pleasure. You're welcome. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.